everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub, and in this tutorial, I'll be giving you a few tips to help you correctly examine your histology slides. As part of your anatomy studies, you'll have to take histology classes that are geared to help familiarize you with the structures you are studying on a microscopic or cellular level. Oftentimes, at microscopic preparations or histology slides, students make mistakes when identifying structures or orienting themselves on the slide. It can seem very unclear and overwhelming. This is understandable, because most students are used to looking at macroscopic structures, like the arteries of the head and neck that we see here, and are not used to looking at microscopic ones. This slide showing blood does not resemble the macroscopic anatomy at all, so it can be a bit confusing. There are also many different staining techniques that are used on preparations, which change the contrast of a slide and add to confusion among students. Well, the good news is that we at KenHub have put together a few tips to help you examine histology slides with more efficacy. So let's begin with the first step. Before you put your slide under the microscope, use the naked eye to determine the shape of your preparation. This might seem a little trivial, but looking at the slide before you put it under the microscope will help you orient yourself when you do eventually look at the slide under the scope. For example, in this cross section, an annular or ring-shaped preparation can be seen. If you know this before using the microscope, you're one step closer to recognizing structures on the preparation. Next, go ahead and place your slide under the microscope and calibrate the microscope so that your image is in focus and not fuzzy. Start at the lowest magnification and move the slide around to see the entire surface since the slide is always bigger than the lens. Once you've had a look at the entire slide at the lowest magnification, go ahead and look at the slide using a higher magnification by stepping up to the next level, being sure to bring the image into focus each time. You can do this several times to see higher and higher magnification of the slide as we're doing here with our slide. It's important to make the image clear at each magnification in order to control which part of the slide you're looking at, especially if you want to zoom into a specific area. It's also important to look at your slide at different magnifications because there can be some major and minor structures or cells that may not be visible at just one magnification. This is as far as we'll zoom in in this example. Once you've had a chance to look at your slide and the structures on your preparation at different magnifications, the next step is to write a description of the major and minor structures that you can see. Write down the name of the structures that you know and also write down a description of the ones you don't know or are unsure of so you can ask your teacher or look them up later on. Let's do that for this slide. We can see blood vessels here, epithelial cells that appear to be pseudostratified columnar cells, lighter cells within that layer, connective tissue in this area containing collagen fibers which are stained blue, some empty space where there is no tissue, and hyaline cartilage if we move the slide. After you've made notes of the structures you're able to see and or identify on your slide, the next thing to do is to determine the type of staining, sectioning, and preparation process used to prepare your slide. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.